Hello everyone. Let's provide the solution to this problem. We have x to the power of 1 over 2 plus x equal to 6. Now understand that this is the same thing as square root of x plus x to be equal to 6. And we want to get the value of x. The first thing, make root x the subject. So we'll have root x to be equal to 6 minus x. Then the next thing is for us to square both sides. Root x will be squared, which will be equal to 6 minus x. Square both of them together like this. Now we square this so that we can eliminate the square root. So x now will be 6 minus x multiplied by 6 minus x. And what can I do? I can open the bracket here. So x will be equal to 6 times 6. That will be 36. Then 6 times minus x. That will give minus 6x. Then minus x times 6 minus 6x. Minus x times minus x will give plus x squared. x will be equal to 36 minus 12x plus x squared. This is what we have. Now we can write this in a better way. So we have x squared first minus 12x. This is coming to meet with the other so it becomes negative x and plus 36. Is still there so this is now equal to 0 to continue x squared minus 13 x plus 36 is equal to 0 now what method do you think we can use to solve this problem okay we can actually um, solve this problem by using the the factorization method right or you can decide to use the formula method now if we are going to factorize this um we're going to pick out minus nine and minus four because minus nine plus minus four will give us minus 13 then minus nine times minus 4 will give us plus 36. So this means that the factors of this equation will be x minus 9. This is one factor. And the second factor will be x minus 4. So this is equal to 0. Then for us to proceed, it means that x minus 9 is either equal to 0 or x minus 4 is equal to 0. To continue with this, we'll have x to be equal to 0 plus 9 or x is equal to 0 plus 4. Then our x here is equal to 9. Our x on this side is equal to 4. Therefore, the values of x, x is equal to 9 or 4. But then, both of them are positive, and this means that um, the two of them cannot be satisfying the equation. What is the equation again? We got x to the power of 1 over 2 plus x equal to 6. And this equally means that square root of x plus x should be equal to 6. Now, let's put in 9. If we put 9 into this, we are going to have square root of 9 plus 9. Square root of 9 is 3 plus 9, and this is giving us 12. This is giving us 12, right? This means that x to be equal to 9 is not satisfying and why is this not satisfying 
because we solve this correctly to arrive at this. By looking at this equation, okay, you will see that it wasn't originally a quadratic equation, so both of the values may not satisfy. So that's why x to be equal to 9 does not satisfy the equation. Now let's put in x to be equal to 4. You know, we are going to have square root of 4 plus 4, right? And this is expected to be equal to 6, and it's actually equal to 6. Because 4 here is a perfect square, and its square root is 2. 2 plus 4 is equal to 6. And this is a confirmation that x to be equal to 4 satisfies the equation. Thank you for watching, and if you love this video, share to more of your friends, and um, give me a thumb up. Thank you.